Personal knowledge management tools function as a digital extension of your mind. And among the most talked about PKM options right now is AnyType. AnyType is a local first peer-to-peer -peer, open source note-taking app. It combines the best aspects of object-based note systems to give you full control over your data. But to truly unleash AnyType's potential, you need more than just the basics. In this video, we'll walk through the best AnyType tips and tricks that will turn your scattered thoughts into an organized knowledge ecosystem. When you first open AnyType, it can feel like a blank canvas staring back at you. But AnyType's templates can entirely change how quickly you build useful pages. Whether you want a daily journal, a project tracker, or a reading list, there's likely a template crafted by the community already available. By selecting a template, you instantly get all the necessary properties, relations, and structure you need. This approach not only saves time, but also helps you maintain consistency across similar pages and prevents the chaos of reinventing the wheel each time. As you grow more comfortable, you can tweak these templates, adding new fields or adjusting layouts, so they fit your exact needs. Over time, you'll find that your customized template library becomes the backbone of your entire knowledge ecosystem. Beyond templates, any type's true magic lies in its custom object types. If you think of each page or entry as an object, then a type is a way to categorize and assign properties to those objects. For instance, instead of having a generic page for books, you create a book type that automatically includes fields like author, genre, status, and rating. Similarly, you might define project, meeting notes, recipe, or task types, each with its own custom fields. This object type approach ensures that every piece of information you input is enriched with structured metadata. When you set up your own custom types, you're telling any type exactly what information matters most to you so it can help you retrieve that information later. And because types are flexible, you can evolve them as your needs change, adding or removing fields without losing existing data. Once you have custom types in place, the next step is to use properties to link objects together. Properties in any type are akin to columns in a spreadsheet or database fields. Text, numbers, dates, checkboxes, tags, files, and more. But unlike a flat spreadsheet, each object in any type can have multiple properties that form relationships with other objects. For example, in your book type, you might include a related projects property that links to all the projects where you plan to apply what you've learned. Or in a project type, you could include a team members property that connects to your contacts objects. By tagging objects with these properties, you create a web of connections that mirrors how your mind associates ideas. When you open any object, you'll see not only its own fields, but also a network of related items so nothing lives in isolation. Over time, this network grows into a rich graph of your knowledge, which makes it easy to jump from one topic to another without losing context. As your AnyType vault fills up with objects, the challenge shifts from capturing information to retrieving it when you need it. That's where queries, also known as sets, enter the scene. Think of a set as a dynamic view or search that filters objects based on specific criteria. For instance, you can create a set called Active Projects that shows only objects of type Project where the status property is in progress. Or build a Books to Read set that displays all book objects tagged with the To Read status. Sets update in real time, so the moment you change a property, mark a project as complete, the corresponding sets automatically refresh. This powerful filtering capability allows you to maintain focus on your current priorities without wading through outdated or irrelevant notes.
One of the most powerful aspects of any type is how it visually represents the connections between your objects. As you build relationships through properties, any type's graph view animates these connections in a node and edge layout similar to a mind map. When you click on any object, you can instantly see its neighbors, objects it links to and objects that link to it. This visual representation helps you trace the flow of ideas, reveal hidden associations, and discover patterns you might otherwise overlook. By regularly linking related concepts, say a research note to a project or a daily log to a goal, you're effectively building a second brain, where your digital workspace mirrors your thought processes. Every time you add a new link, the graph grows more detailed, which creates a connected map of your knowledge landscape. While the graph view excels at mapping relationships, managing tasks and timelines benefits from more structured visual tools. Any type's built-in board and calendar views offer flexible ways to organize and visualize your work. A board view functions much like a Kanban board. You define columns based on a property, then drag and drop project cards across columns as they progress. This drag and drop interface is intuitive, which lets you see at a glance where everything stands. On the other hand, the calendar view plots objects with date properties onto a monthly or weekly calendar. If you set up a due date property on your task type, any task with a due date automatically appears in your calendar. This dual approach, boards for workflow and calendars for time, ensures that nothing slips through the cracks. One of the simplest but most effective ways to build consistent habits in any type is to maintain a daily journal using Quick Notes. Quick Notes are lightweight objects designed for spontaneous thoughts, meeting highlights, or fleeting ideas that you want to capture without breaking your workflow. By creating a Quick Note template specifically for daily journaling, with predefined fields like date, mood, and highlights, you can launch a new journal entry in seconds. Each entry then becomes part of your larger knowledge graph. You might tag it with productivity or link it to a project you're working on. Over time, these journal entries form a chronological record of your thoughts and activities, which you can later review for patterns, progress, or inspiration. The routine of opening any type each morning to jot down a few lines helps anchor your day clarifies priorities, and provides a reference point for reflection. And because Quick Notes live alongside your more formal notes and project pages, you avoid the fragmentation that happens when journaling occurs in a separate app. So that was everything you can use any type in a better way. Let us know which knowledge management tool you are using right now in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more video like this.